hello. Welcome into my workshop and welcome to the show Creations of Clay. My name is Louis Pelledy and today I'm going to do an animal that uh, lives down in Florida. It's called a manatee. And I saw one of these in the wild for the first time this past summer. It's a pretty cool animal. It reminds me of a giant walrus without tusks. So I'll show you the types of clay that we can use today. There's an oil-based clay such as this, which never hardens. This is the one I used to use all the time as a kid. And, you know, when I make a bunch of items or then once I got bored of them, I just roll it into a ball and make something new. I also want to show you this an air hardening clay, which hardens like in a couple of hours or overnight. And you can use this. What's great about this is once it does harden, you can paint it. My preference for the clay is a clay called Super Sculpey, which can be baked in the oven about 275 degrees for about 15 or 20 minutes. What's great about this clay, it never hardens until you actually fire it in the home oven. I'll show you with how to get this thing started. So what I did is I did make, get some tin foil and I rolled it up into a ball into the shape of the manatee. And what we would do is we would take, I'll just show you just to give you an idea. We're going to take clay and then place it over the, the tin foil like this. And just keep taking pieces of clay and adding it like this. See how that is? So you're going to do that so it goes all the way around the tin foil. And what's going to end up happening is once you put all the clay on there, such as that, you're going to have a shape like this. So what I did next is I did make a nice rounded tail. So I added clay and I made this nice rounded tail. And then I, I just tried to smooth this off a little bit like that. And, and then I would put clay all around here. And then what I did is I, took, I take my fingers and I make it into the shape of the head right here. So, and then what we're going to do is now we'll smooth this out a little bit because we're going we're gonna to have to make the texture for the skin. So what I'm doing is taking my thumb, smoothing out all the the areas that need to be smoothed out. And we'll do the other side. And do that. So we're doing that just, and then, see how nice that tail looks now? Nice and round. I'll just kind of rotate it around so you can see it. And then we're gonna take, and I'm just gonna smooth out these other areas for the clay. And Got that. See that? Gonna smooth that out nicely. And just smooth that out. Like that. Look at that. So I'll take my fingers and kind of shape the, the head in the shape that I want there. See that? Because that's going to be like the nose area. That's going to be roughly where the eyes are. Smooth that out nicely. Now, we want to give it some texture. So what I want to do is I'm going to take a piece of tin foil and I'm going to just tap it like this. See this? This will give the nice skin texture that we want. See that? Take that. Then we'll do that. There.
See the texture now? That gives it a really nice texture for the... Uh, and so the next thing that we're going to do is I just want to look quickly, see what... Uh, so I'll probably create the mouth area. So we're going to take a little piece of clay here. And I'm just going to use my thumb to kind of flatten that out a little bit. See that? We'll take that little piece of clay and attach it like that. And then I do want to build up a little bit more around the eye area. So I took a little piece of clay here. I'll attach it there. And I'll do the same for the other side. Just build this up a little bit for the where the eyes are ultimately going to be. Get another piece of clay. Let's build that up a little bit. Kind of, let me see. See how I built that up a little bit? I'll rotate it around. So you can see that's roughly where the eye, uh, that's going to be where the eyes are going to be. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a, my little sculpting tool here and make an indentation right here, like that. And we'll do the same to the other side. Let's make sure they're in the roughly the same spot. See that? And I do want to make that a little bit bigger. So I'm just going to take the tool, just kind of widen that up a little bit. See that? And now what we'll do is I'll take a little ball of clay to create the eyeball. Very small, as you can see right here. I could probably put it in my hand that way. You can see how small it's actually going to be. See that little? And we're going to take that, and I might even break them in half. I'm going to put that back on the eyeball there. See that? And then we're going to do the same for the other side. So we did that. Now, to make the nose area, I'm going to take... I do want to build that up a little bit, make sure it's the same on both sides. Add a little more clay there. Yeah, I just want to see. Okay. We're going to make some indentations for the nose. See how I did that? So that, you've got that. And then we're going to work on making some flippers. I'll show you from this. 
See, now we've, we're working on the head, but we're going to make these flippers right now. I'll move that back and forth so you can see them. And we're going to make those. So I want to make sure I get the right size clay. I'm going to cre create some clay balls. So let's see. So what I'm going to do to make the shape of the flippers, I'm flattening this clay out. So I'm taking my fingers and I want to make sure I'm doing the right size. So I'll show you, flatten it out like this. You see the shape that I'm creating? Just like that. See that? Just take the fingers and go like this round and flatten out and let's see I want to make sure I'm going to make the other one also so I'm going to take this clay ball and we're going to just work on this And see that? Take the fingers, create that shape like that. And I just want to make sure these are approximately the same size. Which they are. So what we're going to do is I'm going to attach that. Take this flipper here and attach it approximately right here. And then I'll take and I'll do the same for the other side. I want to make sure it's in the right spot. And we'll attach that like that. See that? So that's what it'll look like from the top. That's what it'll look like from the bottom. And you can see how that's attached to both sides now. And then I also want to make some little indentations on the flippers right here. Let's see. We'll go like this. One, two, three, four. See that? And I'll take the tool and do the same thing on this side. One, two, three, four. See that? And then we'll just take and tap the flipper a little bit right here, like that. And we'll tap this a little bit too to give that some of that texture that we were looking for before. And then we probably want to give them some little wrinkles. So I'm going to take the tool here and kind of and create some lines right here. See how we're doing that? Because they do have wrinkly skin like that. I'm going to take, just go like that. See that? And then. Got that, and I will try to do one more back here too. And then we're going to do the same on the other side. I want to make sure they're in the same spot. So we got, see how we're doing that? Create some wrinkles. See that? See how that looks? So that's how you make your manate. And I will you do that. And when it's finished, it will look the manate will look like this. So we made those little indentations here. You can see that in there. The nice flat tail, all the beautiful texture on the back. 
I did the same on the un underside. The nice flipper there. The nice wrinkles in the skin that we just made. The eyes. And then you can see the nose right there in the mouth. And that's what your manatee will look like. And I do thank you for coming to the show Creations of Clay today. And I do look forward to seeing you again next week. Goodbye for now.